What's up, you guys? Hang on. What's up, guys? I'm back with another video. Today, I'm going to be... Oh, there's my little brother. He's just here. Which one? He's got his Bowser stuff, you know? I've got to help those Bowser stuff. My baby Bowser. Okay, so... Um, so I'm going to be reacting to really scary videos and happy Veterans Day because today is Veterans Day. Um, and tomorrow is the election, something like that, election day, whatever, I don't know. So, um, you know, and then Thanksgiving, which is on his birthday, oh, sorry. Thanksgiving is on this little cute baby's birthday. Okay. I don't know why he keeps saying that. But, um, let's get right into this video. Okay, ready? Just listen, because there's no, there's no, um, um. That was for fun. Okay, sorry. Okay, just listen closely. It was early June 2017. I was taking a road trip with my nine-year-old son, Tom, to West. Oh, what happened? Uh, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh. oh, that was scary. Okay, let's try that again. Sounds scary already. Okay, story one. It was early June 2017. I was taking a road trip with my nine-year-old son, Tom, to West Virginia to visit family. It was a long, stressful drive. My car didn't have working AC at the time. And it was an incredibly hot day. Close so it. we were a bit stressed out by the six hour mark. We had left later in the day, so we were still on the road by dark. I think it was around 9 p.m. when we were still on the interstate, and Tom started complaining that he needed to use the bathroom. Mommy. There was already tension in the car before this, but his constant complaining brought about a slight argument between the two of us. It was about personal stuff I'd rather not share with the internet. At last, I saw a blue rest area sign zoom past us on the interstate, so I veered off into the rest area. It had a small building with two bathrooms, a couple vending machines, and a few benches. That was it. There were no other cars parked nearby besides some big white pickup truck. As I pulled up next to the building, Tom got out in a hurry and ran to the bathroom. I left the car on because I knew he'd be back soon. Like I said, I don't want to get into personal stuff, like why we had a bit of an argument. But it seemed we were at that stage where we weren't exchanging words anymore. I figured the rest of the ride would be silent. About a minute later, the back door opened and then shut. I wanted to say something to Tom, but I didn't know what to say. So I just stayed quiet and drove off. I noticed that the white pickup truck parked nearby was leaving as well. In fact, he was... Sorry. ...close behind me. I veered back onto the interstate and into the left lane, and the pickup truck did the same. I stepped on it a little, and so did he. Oh my God. He started flashing his lights, so I switched to the right lane, thinking he was nothing but an aggressive driver. But as soon as I switched to the right, so did he. He my was God. still flashing his lights. I pulled into the right lane and started to slow down. He sped up, still in the middle lane, and when he caught up to me, he slowed down and lowered his window. I did the same and he started yelling something to me, pointing at my car. He looked like a creepy, sketchy dude at first glance. I couldn't hear a word he was saying, so he pointed for me to pull over to the side. I told Tom to keep calm. In my head, I was saying if this guy tried to do anything funny, I would floor it. The pickup pulled up behind me on the grass, and the guy came out of his truck, running to my car. I put the car back in drive as my heart was racing, ready to drive. But then he screamed, wait. He got to my window and said, that's not your kid, and pointed to the back seat. As he said this, I was confused and said, what? He said, that's not your kid that got in your car. Suddenly, the back right side door opened, and I turned to see someone getting out of my car. Not my son, Tom. I got out from the car, screaming at the tall person who seemed to be a fully grown man, but they had already disappeared into the woods. I looked at the driver of the pickup and thanked him as I suddenly panicked, oh thinking God. about what could have happened to Tom. I got back in my car, crossed the grass between the interstate, and drove back to the rest area. The guy in the pickup followed me. 
We got back there in like 30 seconds to find Tom waiting outside the rest area bathroom. He got back in the car, all confused. I explained everything to him, almost out of breath, as did the pickup driver. I thanked the guy one more time before he drove back to the spot he was sitting in before. Tom was so intrigued about what just happened, and I was so disturbed that we were back on good terms again. We chatted the whole rest of the way and told family about it as soon as we arrived. I never even got to see what the person who got in my car looked like. And? Honestly, maybe I should be happy I never turned around to look at them, because I don't know what they would have done. Okay. And then story... I have been the Republican for over 26 years. I'm a lifelong Republican. I was registered as a Republican. And I no. said Harley Ruda. Harley no. Ruda. Harley Ruda. For... Okay. Story two, but this is the last story, okay? Because, uh... Um, so that was scary. He was glad. I would be glad I didn't look back either. But if I were him, i look back because, I mean, I'd... But, um, yeah, true. Uh, I wouldn't want to look back either. Um, so, see, pickup guys are good. Pickup guys are good, you know? Okay. Um, so... I realized that there was a woods, there was woods by the, um, where they were driving in the rest area and stuff. So, like, that's, that makes it more creepy. I, I would look inside the, fo the forest, the woods, whatever. But, like, that was kind of creepy, okay? So, wait till you hear this next story. This next story is really, really scary, but I'm not going to spoil it for you guys. So, um, let's get right into the video. Oh my god. You can pause this video right now and go go use the bathroom or whatever and go get some snacks because this second one yeah, I don't know it's, uh, it's I think it's better than the first one. So here we go. My girlfriend and I took a road trip to California recently. The way there was completely normal. We left home early in the morning and got to the hotel by nightfall. On our way back home, however, we left midday and a majority of our ride was in the dark. The drive was about 10 hours each way, not including stops for food. We made two food stops, the first after about three hours of driving, then one more much later and deeper into the night. We got off the freeway at like 12.30 at night and went to the nearest Wendy's for food. We got right back on the freeway after that. I ate while I drove, which my girlfriend wasn't too fond of, but I just wanted to get home sooner rather than later. Shortly after getting back on the freeway, it started to rain. My girlfriend forced me to pull over now. She didn't want me eating and driving in poor conditions. As I pulled to the side, it actually started to downpour. I finished up eating my food, and then we heard a bang sound at the window. Oh First, I chalked it up to noises from the storm, but when I looked to my left out the window to see a figure blocking 90% of the window, along with the shriek of my girlfriend's, I nearly had a heart attack. I didn't want to roll down the window given how hard it was pouring, but over the sound of the torrential rain pounding on the car, I couldn't hear what the person was saying. I opened the door a crack and yelled out to the person, who turned out to be a woman. She was soaked already and looked disheveled and scared. She asked for a ride. And what was I going to do? Tell her no in these conditions? I told her to get in the back seat. My girlfriend gave me a look. I don't know what kind of look exactly, but it looks kind of like a why the hell did you let her in kind of look. Mm -hmm. I asked the woman where she was heading. She didn't answer. I caught my girlfriend giving me a look again because of this. I ignored her and turned around to look at the woman in the back seat, assuming she didn't hear me. But as creepy as it was... She was actually looking right at me with a cold, unfriendly face. I'd say it was a neutral... What are you watching? We're going to video. Okay. Okay, I'll be right back. Ow. Okay, you guys ready? Oh. Damn. Blank face. Something about it was just... Oh, my God. Pudding. I repeated my question, and she just shrugged her shoulders and laughed. I looked at my girlfriend, who was once okay. again...
Richard, can you get me Oreo cookies or there's no more Oreo cookies? Let me show the video, okay? Hmm? Can I, can I? Steve, 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 okay. Again, looking at me. I said out loud that I'd be dropping the woman off at the next town we crossed. I guess I was announcing that to both my girlfriends and the woman. As we got back onto the barren highway, there was a sudden ear-piercing screaming sound coming from right behind me, and the woman sitting behind me suddenly wrapped her arms around my throat. I slammed on the brakes as I was struggling to breathe, almost sliding into the divider. My girlfriend, quote, slashed at the woman's face with her long nails. The screaming turned from a deranged, angry kind of screaming to screams of pain and agony. Okay. I got uh, out of the car. That is too crazy. I'll, t I'll just spoil the end. Um, basically, in the end, he drops her off. And uh, his, um, he just, like, throws her on the floor out of the car. And she, she's like, uh, his girlfriend's like, okay, let's keep driving. And they ran, they went went home and stuff like that that's the end okay so that's gonna close out this video if you enjoyed this video make sure to drop a like down below and um please drop a like down below subscribe if you are new and i will see you in the next video peace